Hi, hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products and Focus. So global markets had a bit of a tough session yesterday, having rallied uh, later on in the session, it dipped back down towards the very, very end. And uh, actually from a technical analysis perspective, this is a pretty ugly candle to get on the US 30. Now we've had a bounce this morning, but it's below 17,747. Uh, so looking at the tips of these candles and what we had yesterday, the, from a technical perspective, the pressure is certainly on. With a crossover of the MACD, a sell signal on the uh, RSI and the slow stochastic, we've got 17,561 as the next potential support, which should also break the back of the 21 period SMA. So then looking at the UK 100, uh, a similar uh, ugly picture, trading below potential uh, support, coming up quite close to the 55 period SMA with 6,073 being the next potential support. Um, but obviously we're far away from there right now. Uh, 6,300 is potential resistance at this time. Then jumping on to the Japan 225, it's still kind of slowly grinding higher. Uh, we'll have a look at dollar yen in a second, but it's still all about if Japan are gonna embark on quantitative easing or not, but 20,087 is a potential resistance to be aware of. So looking at dollar yen, it's struggled, uh, as in the US dollar has, has kind of lost its momentum slightly, but the major fundamental factor hasn't changed that there could be a rate hike in December, to be fair. Uh, it's just in the absence of macroeconomic data, um, the dollar is not really advancing the way that uh, it could, uh, with some extra evidence to back up its view. But lots of central bankers speaking today, um, you've got uh, a number of um, Fed members speaking today, including Yellen and uh, a few other Fed members throughout the end of the day, uh, and that could have a, a slight impact. There may be kind of medium range uh, updates. So we're in the middle of two ranges, 121 spot 87 is support, 124 spot 42 is potential resistance. So moving on to West Texas crude, it was a pretty bad day again yesterday. This is slowly grinding towards $42. It's not a stone's throw away from there right now. Things get a little bit more interesting in West Texas crude if you break below 42, and that's not happened as of yet. So so far it's been oscillating in this range between uh, 49.40 and $42. Then moving on to gold, gold is back on the slide again. $1,072 is the next potential support, $1,100. Oh, excuse me as potential resistance, but we're a good bit away from there. All technical indicators are pretty much showing that this is oversold right now, um, but the, uh, the yellow metal is certainly under pressure at the moment. Finishing up with GBP USD, the, uh, your dollar and GBP USD. So your dollar should trace back up to one spot zero seven eighty six as the dollar taking a bit of a back seat. This is a very interesting level. It's bounced up here a couple, quite a few times. So depending on your view, this could be an interesting strategic point. The other technicals are quite overbought, as, uh, oversold as well. So that's one thing to consider. And then finishing up with GBP USD, um, Sterling managed to break up back through one spot 51.85. That's quite impressive, actually. Uh, and we are at the right on the right side of this. So this could be a springboard if you are bullish on the Sterling to get up to one spot 54.24, or if you think that this is um, this could turn itself around from a technical uh, from a candlestick aspect. Obviously, we're still in the middle of a trading day. This is very bullish, okay? So it finished at the top end of its range. This is a graveyard doji formation. It's not even remotely closed yet, but it's tried to push higher and has been pushed right back down again. So depending on your view, if we go back down below one spot, 51.85, that's when things get a little bit more uh, tetchy for uh, GBP USD again. But for right now, it's on the right side of potential resistance. So it could go that little bit higher depending on how the macro data system comes out. So I come at data wise, we've already had a CPI from uh, from Germany, uh, pretty boring to be honest. Uh, then we've got industrial production in the Eurozone employment claims, and of course uh, weekly petroleum crude oil inventories, which is now falling on a Thursday currently. And this is a big one for West Texas crude today. So uh, don't forget to uh, set your alarm for that if you are a crude trader lots of good opportunities there we think so looking at tomorrow we have gdp for germany uh gdp for the eurozone trade balance data as well ppi us retail sales us and the consumer sentiment survey university of michigan uh data so actually friday comes with it the opportunity for the week to finish with a bit of a bang because quite a lot of us data all uh, high level, red important level impact stuff there. So make sure you don't miss out on that. So I can see here there's some good, good quite interesting analysis from our uh, team in the UK on the chart forum. So some UK 100 copper, 
dollar yen euro sterling get a chance to see that make sure insights are popular going forward and join me again uh, tomorrow to find out what happened next